VNN is produced by audiovisual production students at Mount Juliet High School. Hey, I'm Landon Collins. I'm the student body vice president here at MJ. I wanted to talk about a new remind thread we've started to kind of combat all of the craziness and uncertainty we've been facing this year. Me and my fellow council members have started a positivity thread through remind and it's all about sending reassuring messages throughout the day just to remind you that someone's on your side when it feels like maybe no one else is. So just follow the directions on the screen and we can get you in the Remind group and you'll have some daily reassuring messages from me and the rest of my team to help kind of remind you that someone is looking out for you. Hey, it's your boy, Mr. Peach. We got a really full news episode today. There's some stuff that we could have worked in, but we would have been well over our uh, six minute target for news, so I'm going to uh, shout out some stuff, and then you're going to see some videos that we already have built up. Uh, first, progress reports drop today. So uh, if you've not been in communication with your teacher on missing assignments, or if you've been uh, turning them in late enough that they haven't been graded yet, have fun with that. Uh, and I know that's not the vast majority of us. Also, uh, teachers tend to work with you. Make sure you're in communication with your teachers on how to make up uh, late and missing assignments along the way. Uh, big stuff going down this Friday. This Friday will be the first game that our varsity basketball teams have played at Green Hill High School. The game is sold out, so if you do not already have your ticket to go, you won't be watching it at Green Hill. However, if you go to Green Hill Sports Network on Twitter, you'll be able to see a link uh, Friday night of their live stream. They should have video. They should have audio. They got some good announcers. I'll be watching it from home. Uh, next week, we've got dress down days. Tuesday and Wednesday, dress up as your dream career. Don't dress up as a YouTube streamer. Come on, guys. And then Thursday and Friday, uh, we've got pajamas. So uh, if you want to wear some tasteful PJs next Thursday and Friday, please do so. And the reason we've got dress down days next week is because next week is coming home. Coming home is a little different from homecoming. Instead of ladies being voted on to be in the situation, you've actually got guys being voted on to be in the situation. And then they have ladies as their escorts. And on that note, yesterday they had their pictures taken here in the BNN room. And while they were having their pictures taken, I did some interviews. And so you're about to see reactions from the coming home court to being voted on the coming home court. Check it out. Uh, very excited and just happy that all my classmates and friends see me as a good person. Um, I mean, it was fun. I was excited. Uh, I it, it's a cool it's a cool experience, you know, um, just to be recognized by your peers, um, and you know that um, you know it's just going to be a good time and. Just to have fun at an event uh, like coming home, uh, it's a good feeling. Um, it was great. He asked me the other day whenever he got elected into the homecoming or the coming home court, and he was like, "Do you mind being my escort?" And I was like, "Of course. I've been best friends with you for years, so I'll gladly escort you." I don't know. It's it's special to an extent. I, I've been here at MJ for four years and I've served through our student council for all four years and I've always kind of represented our student body in like a governmental way so I think to have this is different of sorts but it's nice to finally break away from that student council kind of bubble and maybe move on to a different way to represent the senior class. Um, I thought it was super exciting as a senior and not being able to do much this year because of COVID, it was such a blessing to just be able to do this in general 
and to be on the court with Landon is so exciting. And I was just so thankful to even be a part of it. Wow, I really just felt honored and blessed that so many of my friends decided to vote me for coming home. Felt really special and it was great, a blissful feeling. <laughs> I found out an hour before pictures, so an hour ago at two o'clock today. Um, this is why I'm not dressed up and my escort is late. So yeah, we love Eli and yeah, it's been a great, it's been a great day. <laughs> Um, I didn't even, I didn't even know we were doing it until I was in Miss Adams' class and she pulls up the Google Classroom, she's like, make sure y'all voted. And I looked in the final six and I was one of them. Uh, it was cool. I mean, honestly, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to share code. It was a nice feeling, you know, knowing that people liked me enough to actually vote for me. Um, but it is just another glorified popularity contest at the end of the day. So nothing really too meaningful to me. It was exciting. I knew Monif got it, but I really wasn't expecting like to be able to go. But I was super excited that I got the chance to. Uh, it was cool because you know my homies voted for me, and then me and Sophia were also on homecoming too. So we've been on both senior year and the year with both things. So that's just pretty cool. So you know it was just nice, nice feeling. Um, it was really interesting because they nominated boys and I got nominated for homecoming as well. So um, it was exciting for Jarvis to be able to be nominated and me to ex escort him this time.